Okay, so Anne-Marie asked about flying crow. So, just trying to think how I might show you how to get into flying crow. It's definitely not an easy pose. Um, it's like crow, but much harder. Often the half pose is, is easier than the, the full pose, but not for crow. Half pose is much more difficult. So, what we're really trying to find when we find crow is to really find the lift from the middle. So particularly hip flexors, the way that we draw in is what draws us up into crow. It's really common in crow to find a way to, to stop the weight from falling down. Whereas what we actually want to do is to find a way to lift the weight right up. It's very different to letting it fall down or stopping it fall down. So we're using from the middle, from the core, from particularly these hip flexors. These are keeping the knees from slipping down the arms. So as a first step, if you can get into crow, we can start to play with being able to take one of the legs off and not to fall instantly. So we can try and lift one leg away, even for a moment. Even if it's just trying to feel that you could lift it for a second. Even if it doesn't stay up, even if you lift and you start to come down. If you can come down slowly, you've still got some of that lift drawing you up. So then once we can do that, and we can take one leg off and keep up. Then we can start to play around with the balance a little bit more. So once we get into that, we can start bringing it up. Bringing the body up and sending one of the legs out, maybe. But the head and the chest need to come forwards and the weight of the leg goes up. So we're creating balance. There's quite a lot of weight forward. The nose comes lower than it does for crow. But still, it's really engaging from here to find that lift. Hope that helps.